Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys these two coverage maps posted by PC Magazine. The coverage map that you see here now is one without 600 megahertz on it. And the next one you will see shortly is the one that's going to have 600 megahertz on it. Now, just looking at this one that we see here, in my opinion, that's good coverage. I mean, if I have a, let's say, an iPhone 7 Plus or a Note 8 currently on T-Mobile, I'm not going to run out and get an LG V30 for the 600 megahertz. Coverage is very well in Texas. Now, there are a few spots in West Texas where I would have issues. Where I, Last time I traveled, I roamed on AT&T, but it's not a drastic amount of miles where I wouldn't have any service. At least I could still call and text if I were to travel from here to San Antonio. So this is definitely uh, good to see that T-Mobile is making strides already without even implementing the 600 megahertz. If you, I mean, look at the coverage. It's it's a very robust coverage. So in my, in my case, I wouldn't have to go run out and get an LG V30 immediately. Now, of course, in the future, will I get a device that has 600 megahertz on it with T-Mobile? Yes, because they will implement it here locally to give a capacity boost. So I will definitely get a device in the future that has that band on it. But as of right now, in my case, not necessarily. Now, that may be different for you. You may have added coverage, which you will see here on this next map. And it's not a big difference, honestly, if you break it down that you may have to get a phone that has 600 megahertz on it to be able to have coverage in your area. Now do keep in mind these coverage maps are projected for the end of this year. So some of that coverage may not be live as of yet. So here is the coverage with 600 megahertz on it. And of course, as you see at the bottom, it is advertised as you need a cap capable device to get that coverage. So as you can see, in my opinion, I mean, of course, you can pause the video on each map and check it out. But there's not a big difference. Um, it just closes a few of the of the gaps. But other than that, right now, as the coverage map is, it's already pretty good, if you ask me. Now, 600 megahertz going forward will be important, in my opinion, to add additional capacity in dense urban markets. And of course, that will require a lot of tilting of the antennas because T-Mobile's network grid is pretty dense, but it will help a lot of areas that are not that great on spectrum. Here in El Paso, they're getting ready to add band 66. That's another 10 megahertz, and that will make the, uh, in some cases, it will make three channel carry aggregation where only band two and band four is present. And in some, it will make four channel carry aggregation where band 12, band 4, and band 2 is present. So definitely some, some good info from PC Magazine. If you guys see any added coverage in your area on these maps, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you already got an LG V30 or are planning to get one, you know, just let us know, hey, do you already know if your area is getting any 600 megahertz? Or maybe some of you guys have already experienced it. Um, I know T-Mobile, I've been tracking it and T-Mobile has been on the move, lots of new towers going up. And I I would assume pretty soon here, we should know more areas that are gonna start popping up with 600 megahertz. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. There's, a, there's another update coming here pretty soon on the channel, so stay tuned for that. I have lots more content coming for you guys. So definitely get very interactive in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.